Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. Here's one I found at Winter Nam 2020, the Klingon. No, it's not Star Trek. Let me show you the box. So the Klingon, as you can see, they did win Best in Show. That was back in 2018. So this has been around for a while and I've never really heard or seen these before. And I just thought this could be a good concept for certain people. People that don't want anything changed about their guitar, people that have multiple guitars, and also people on a budget, because it's around $60 from Amazon, I'll put a link below. But let me give you a full run through. I have tried it at a show, it does work very well. I'm actually very impressed with what it is. So it's a passive pickup and it looks like this. It's very light. It actually has a volume control, which I'll leave on maximum, but you can adjust the volume from the pickup. And this is it. Plastic, light, very light in fact. A foam here, because this is gonna go on your guitar. So there's some foam, a foam pad so it won't scratch it. This is like a mini little jack connector, which again comes with it and you plug it in. Now the connector you get in the box looks like this. So you actually plug your existing guitar cable into here and plug this into the pickup. The cable I'm using today is an optional accessory, like an add-on. It just means you don't need to plug your cable in. You can go straight from the pickup to the mixing board just to eliminate one more connection. But either way works just fine. So the way to install it, again, very simple. All I did was in the box, you get a magnetic disc like this and some putty like this. Now you can buy more so you can have these in other guitars. You can use one pickup on multiple guitars. All I did was take a little tiny piece of that putty and put it onto a magnetic base, which is this part here. I then took the strings off the guitar, went inside, pressed down around this area just so it would stick on. Very easy to stick on, very easy to remove, which is very important. It will not damage the guitar. It's not like using glue, right? So then what that means is this pickup is magnetic. When you're ready to use the pickup, all you do is plug it into the mixer and then place it where the magnet is, like that. Goes on nice and secure. And it's very secure, as you can see. So that is it. That is the pickup. It's a, it's a contact body sensor. A little bit like the ones I've shown you in the past that go inside the guitar, this one just mounts externally. There's also an option of using two. If you want to use two cables into a mixer or something, you'd have two of these pickups. But I like the simplicity of just using the one. So let me play the guitar without the pickup, and then we'll go through what the pickup sounds like plugged in. Here's the guitar by itself. Okay, so now I've turned up the pickup. I'm gonna mute this microphone and just show you what the mic sounds like by itself. This is straight into the line in on my audio interface. Now that is a nice, clean signal. I've had no problems with feedback. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say that sounds a bit mid, mid rangey, not much low end. Yeah, it's the, it's the whole impedance thing again. You have to be careful with any kind of passive pickup that you're using the correct load for it. Again, just like the other passive pickups I've showed you, I will plug into the Pure Mini preamp from K&K, &K, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like with a one mega ohm input and a touch of EQ as well. I'll give you just a pick up with the flat EQ and then I will do some EQ tweaking to see how I can improve the sound of it. Here we go.
Okay, so what did you think? Once I used the correct input, you know, the one meg home, high, high Z input, whatever, whatever you want to call it, and changed the EQ around just with the three band EQ, I think it sounds really good. I think it's up there with some of the good sounds I've had, I have to admit. When I used this live, I was very impressed. Now, personally, I probably don't want something on the guitar like this. I like to have something in the guitar because I'm playing all the time and, you know, it just makes more sense for me. But if you're looking for a temporary solution, if you're not interested in the sound hole pickups because they block the sound hole, if you don't want to drill a hole in your guitar, this is a really good option. Now, I do have a few more options coming soon, so please subscribe to the channel, watch out for those. But I think you really can't go wrong with this, just for the simplicity. And again, I often talk about backups. This could be a great backup. You could leave that disc attached inside, keep this pickup in your bag. And if you're at a show and your pickup goes down, just stick this on and go. So don't be put off by the preamp thing either. I am planning a series on EQ and preamps in the future. It's always worth carrying around a good preamp. I'll try and review more in the future. The K&K &K that I used here today is always decent. So I hope you found that interesting. That was a Klingon pickup. And I'll be back soon with more reviews and videos. So please subscribe and I'll see you later. Keep strumming. Bye-bye.